Hello, lifelong learners. I am Katie Compton, director of the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute. We have missed seeing each other in person and we've missed our coffee and snacks, but I am proud of the more than 450 people who have taken part in our online Zoom courses this year. I'm especially proud of and thankful for our 46 facilitators and 16 Zoom moderators who learned how to do a totally new thing, Zoom. But I shouldn't be surprised. That's what we're all about at Ollie, learning new things. Well done. Hi, I'm Marlena Katz and I teach two courses uh, this spring. And the first is called The Story of Money, The True Story of a Made Up Thing. We're using a book by Jacob Goldstein. And the other one is the part two of The Story of Money and we're using a book called Money by Felix Martin. And I wanted to thank all of my students and all of the other people at Ali for being such a good community and learning to enjoy being together with Zoom during this year of maximum craziness. Hi, I'm Marilyn Littman. I'm a co-facilitator of the Wall Street Journal discussion class. And I wanna thank all of you for having participated in the Osher Lifelong Learning Institute in this year of unprecedented changes. For me, it has been a treat to chat with a great group and to discuss meaningful issues. And I hope everybody in the class has enjoyed it as much as I have. Hi, I'm Ruby Lappin. I'm the facilitator for memoirs. I help people write their memoirs. And in this year where it's been unprecedented chaos, I have more and more appreciated that the writers who come to my class entertain me and hopefully learn something, but we become a, a group that likes each other and knows each other better than they would any other way because they're telling you their intimate stories. I hope you've all enjoyed being in my class. I hope that we can continue and not be afraid to have the Zoom meetings, but to get along anyway until we can get back together. I'm looking forward to that to no end. Hi, I'm Jeanette Altman, and I co-facilitate the memoirs class on Wednesday with Ruby Lappin. And I really appreciate all of our students who have come to class this year. It has been unprecedented, however, our class lends itself wonderfully to Zooming. You get to read, you get to enjoy other people's readings. And we had a wonderful group of people and we hope to see you all next semester. Hi, I'm Larry May. Um, I co-facilitate a class on American politics with Joan Kelly Horn. Uh, we also did a course on the elections. Um, I taught for 40 years at the university level before coming to OLLI. Um, I must say that I don't like Zoom very much, um, but uh, um, it's better than nothing. And uh, we're all grateful for the folks who have followed us into our Zoom rooms. Hi, it's Cindy Turner Johnson. This past fall, Nina Kaplan and I co-facilitated The Final Solution, written by the 2020 St. Louis Literary Award winner, Michael Chabon. This summer, we plan on facilitating another book discussion on the 2021 St. Louis Literary Award winner, Zadie Smith, and her short story book, Grand Union. Thank you so much for sticking with us during this past year of unprecedented changes. We hope you'll continue to stay with us and be involved as we share and learn together. Thank you. I'm Sheldon Inger, and I facilitate uh, courses in the past year on early Judaism and, Christ and early Christianity and the fusion of the two with the emphasis there that we have more in common than what separates us. So it's been an exciting year, a challenging year, a learning year in terms of how to use Zoom. And I think it's a modality that's here to stay that we can use an LLI on an ongoing and continuous basis uh, for many courses. And to that extent, I wanna thank uh, Katie and Denise for walk, walking me through and uh, being uh, 
very accommodating and helping me um, make this work. Thank you. This is Marty Einig, and last term I helped Stanley Meisler as moderator of his World Visual Arts class. Thanks so much for being part of Osher LLI, where the whole became more than the sum of our parts. And also thanks to Katie and Denise for overcoming another challenge. I, I'm David Brown. I am uh, one of the facilitators of the Science for the Curious class, uh, where we read various articles and do reports on various things that are happening in science these days. As um, the chair of the curriculum committee at OLLI, uh, I look through all of the evaluations that we get for the various facilitators and classes. And without a doubt, people are, are enthusiastic about the classes that they're taking. I have a few people who are saying they sure wish we could get back to, together, but in general, people have really learned how to use Zoom and uh, we're, we're continue to present a, a good selection of classes. Yeah, I'm Joan Kelly Horn, and I co-facilitate the American Politics class with uh, with Larry May. And we want to thank all of our uh, Ali for continuing us with, with this class, for helping us out with the Zoom. It's been a wonderful experience, and uh, it's been very challenging. And a lot of our folks really don't care that much for Zoom. I think they miss the snacks most of all. The we have wonderful, wonderful brownies and cookies and homemade snacks. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, there's always, always something very challenging to talk about when you talk about American politics. <clears throat> and uh, it's just, it's been fun. And it's always great to be on with so many knowledgeable people. We've gone and they've, everybody's read three or four newspapers already and been online. And they're always way ahead of the, the facilitators and their knowledge and what's going on um, in American politics. Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Steve Radinsky. And I facilitate and help bring cutting edge scientists from Barnes Hospital and Seitman Cancer Institute over here on Fridays to give us cutting edge, what's happening as far as cutting edge science is happening right down the street from us. I bring such prominent people such as Dr. David Holtzman, who's looking for a cure for Alzheimer's disease or Dr. Govindan that's helping cure lung cancer or Dr. Gil Gilak, who's working in regenerative medicine to grow new limbs and new parts. It's been an amazing year watching all of these people come and speak to us. And I wanna thank all of you for standing by as we have tried. It's only been one year now since this has all happened to us. It's been quite a, quite a journey that we've all had together and I didn't know what Zoom was a year ago, but now we've, we've, we've been able in a very short time to switch all our classes from ed class to Zoom. And I wanna thank all of you for standing with us while we did this amazing feat in just a few months. Thank you all. Hi, I'm Leonard Adrian. This year I co-facilitated a writing class with Nina Kaplan called Writing for Ourselves. Thank you for being part of OSHA Lifelong Learning Institute over this past very difficult year. One member of my class told me that the classes she is taking are the highlight of her week. And without the classes, she would feel very isolated. I feel sure that you have found the classes stimulating friendly and exceptionally worthwhile. Hi, I'm Nina Kaplan. I'm honored to be a co-facilitator with Leonard Adrian. This is a course that's been going on a long time. We thank you deeply for being part of OSHA Lifelong Learning Institute. For me, it is the way I organize my day. 
Most of us have found ourselves floundering in terms of what day it is, what month it is, what time of day it is. And it has been a great pleasure to organize my life and my day around learning and facilitating for lifelong, OSHA lifelong learning. Hi, my name is Dennis Smith. I facilitate the writing class, uh, writing for ourselves and others. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that's connected with OSHA lifelong learning. Uh, it's been a difficult year, but a, a rewarding one. Thank you. Hi, I'm Rita Holbert. And I most recently facilitated a class called Art as Muse. And I wanna thank everyone for being a part of the past crazy year. I am very grateful for Zoom. I'm very grateful for Ollie and for OSHA Lifelong Learning. And I am very grateful for the friends I have made through this experience. And I hope to see you all in other classes. My name is Joe Schlafly. Um, I am a new facilitator, uh, new to the New Yorker with Karen, which has been a wonderful experience. We have a great class and lots of uh, wonderful uh, discussion and dialogue. And uh, I just want to thank everyone uh, who has been part of LLI over the last year. It hasn't been easy, but it's been a lifeline, uh, I think, for many, many people. And I certainly hope that you'll uh, consider uh, not only staying with us, but for those of you who haven't, uh, joining us because it's a wonderful experience uh, during this time. Thank you very much. I, I am Ben Sandler, and the class that I did not facilitate this past term is a, a class in the poetry of uh, Maxine Kuhlman and Ted Kuzer and Billy Collins. Um, I un unavoidably had to absent myself from the rest of the class after the first session and, and assumed that the class would uh, disappear. Well, it didn't disappear, thanks to Nina Kaplan and uh, Linda Cohn and everyone else in the class. They uh, carried on in, in a way that uh, made me feel as though this is what lifelong learning is all about. It has steam of its own. It doesn't even require facilitators after a certain point. Uh, and, and so that, that, that was gratifying to me. Uh, thank you all, especially those in the class who kept that going. And I'm sure we'll have uh, many more great opportunities coming up. My name is Karen Sturbins. Um, I've been going to Ali OSHA Lifelong Learning Institute for 25 years exactly. Uh, if you do the math, I'm 80 years old. So for 20 years or more, I've been co-facilitating the Reading the New Yorker class. We meet continuously. And also for about 10 years, I've been co-facilitating a Monday morning writing class. Last term, it was Artist Muse that I co-facilitated with Rita. And next term, it's um, <clears throat> The Place, The Thing, which is the playwriting class I'm co-facilitating with Dennis Smith. Uh, certainly, thank you to all the people who participate. I think we've gotten to be on Zoom a well-oiled machine. We do beautifully. Katie is a spectacular, spectacular director. And uh, everything we've done has been life-giving, life-inspiring, and energizing. Hope to see you soon. Thanks. I'm uh, Tom Mitchell. Uh, uh, this, uh, d during these unusual times, uh, I had the privilege of uh, facilitating a course on four great uh, American sculptors, uh, one on the impact of the World's Fairs, one on probability, and helped out with the science for uh, curiosity uh, uh, class too. And I just realized that I covered a lot of territory between those four. Um, I thank all the participants in uh, the, uh, these classes. Uh, you are all great, very lively, very active participants. I appreciated it very much. I wanna give uh, then a shout out to Charlie Kuhn and his ragtime uh, class. Uh, which uh, didn't like transform my life, but I've been listening to a lot of ragtime music since uh, he gave that uh, course. Thank you. Everybody, my name is Steve Ehrlich. And during the past year, I've taught several courses on the literature of fly fishing. 
uh, we taught about the history of that literature, uh, the philosophy, the religion, and gone over a number of past and current works in that genre, all of which is a marvelous way to reflect on um, living and lifelong learning. I wanna thank everybody uh, for your patience and for your dedication to um, Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, especially during this year. And I hope to continue um, having great conversations with all of you uh, uh, to quote uh, Norman McLean about why eventually all things merge into one and a river runs through it. So tight lines, everybody, and best wishes. Thank you. I'm Barbara Gervais, and um, this pandemic year of 2021 is actually my first year with um, OSHA's Life Lifelong Learning. I couldn't see prior to the pandemic and virtual um, classes how I could make it work with my lifestyle. And I have to say, it's been the silver lining in a very difficult year. I started taking one class in the fall term, uh, Brenda Lambert's African American Poetry. In this winter term, I facilitated, or as I call it, was the teacher's helper for Edie Tashma's pre-Columbian art. I took Dan Ellis's um, War of the Roses through the Shakespeare, Henry and Richard plays, and the wonderful, wonderful Anna Amalung's um, class on La Belle, Art of the Belle Epoque. And I will be facilitating in the coming term for Anna in um, Italian Baroque. And I just have loved this experience, thanks to all teachers and students. Shirley Baker, I came to Ali for uh, Charlotte Lanham's Tuesday morning memoir class and uh, was uh, in that for several years. It was an incredibly important class to all of us. It gave meaning to our lives in new ways and we, we really bonded among the members, which changed over, over time. Uh, when uh, Ollie closed down for the pandemic, our group started up on its own immediately because we missed it so much. And uh, we have continued every week uh, imitating the, the New Yorker class and not stopping for the changes in semesters. Uh, it has proved in the pandemic to be a, life, a lifeline for all of us. And we're absolutely thrilled with it. And we're not too sure we will we'll stop meeting by Zoom after we open up again, we don't know. But I should say that one of the members of our eight person group has actually finished her memoir and has uh, dropped out to work on, on tidying it up and getting it ready to share. And so we are, although that says closed, we have one vacancy. So if you know anybody who likes to write memoirs and is interested in meeting um, seven other really interesting people, and listening to them talk and commenting on it. Uh, we welcome a, another person. And Ollie has been incredible for us. I'm Ellen Boone. I co-facilitate the Thursday morning memoir class. Thank you for Zooming with Ollie during this challenging year of learning and growing. Here's to Ollie, where the class sessions are stimulating and classmates are engaging. <laughs>